Are you experiencing blue screen when connecting a keyboard or mouse? Then you are at the right place as we have the solutions for you to fix this issue. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. If you see a blue screen when you connect a keyboard or a mouse to your Windows computer, this video will help you fix the issue. Multiple causes can trigger this problem such as corrupt system image files, corrupt drivers, a hardware issue, etc. Now let's get started on how to fix the issue. Method 1. Preliminary Fixes Try a different USB port. This will help you know whether the issue is with a particular USB port. If you are a desktop user, connect the keyboard and the mouse to both back and front USB ports. Your mouse or keyboard may be faulty. Try another mouse or keyboard and check if the issue persists. Method 2. Check the issue in safe mode. Enter safe mode and check if the issue occurs there. You can follow this guide to enter into safe mode. The easiest way to boot Windows into safe mode would be to press shift and then click on restart. This will reboot your Windows computer into advanced startup options. Go to the advanced startup recovery menu as shown in the first solution. Choose troubleshoot. Select advanced options then select startup settings and then restart. Press F5 on your keyboard to enter safe mode with the networking option. If the BSOD does not occur in safe mode after connecting the keyboard or the mouse, a driver may be causing the problem. You may need to update some drivers following the next method. Method 3. Update mouse and keyboard drivers To update the mouse or keyboard drivers, follow these steps. Search for Device Manager in the Windows search bar and open it. In Device Manager, expand Keyboards section. Right-click on the specific device you want to update. Select Update Driver. Choose Search automatically for drivers to let Windows find and install the latest drivers. If Automatic Search does not find a driver, choose Browse My Computer for drivers and navigate to the driver's location. Follow the on-screen instructions or follow as shown to complete the update process. Restart your computer if prompted, as this may be necessary for the changes to take effect. Then go to the mice and other pointing devices. Right-click on the specific device you want to update and repeat the same process. You can also follow this guide to update your mouse and this guide to update your keyboard drivers and see. Method 4. Reinstall the USB controller driver The corrupt USB controller driver might be the cause of this issue. Reinstalling it can help. Before you proceed, create a system restore point following this guide so you can restore your system if any problem occurs. Now, follow these steps. Open the Device Manager, expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers branch, right-click on the USB host controller driver and select Uninstall Device. Uninstall all available USB host controller drivers. Once you are done, restart your computer. Windows will automatically reinstall the missing driver on Restart. Now check if the issue persists. Method 5. Repair your system image files Corrupt system image files may be responsible for this issue. Repair the corrupt system image files by using the System File Checker and DISM tools. The scan will take some time, do not interrupt it. To do this, open Command Prompt as Administrator. In the elevated Command Prompt window, type this command and press Enter. SFC slash scan now. Wait for the scan to complete. This process might take some time. If any issues are found, Windows will attempt to fix them automatically. Next, run these DISM commands one by one, pressing Enter after each one. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash check health. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash scan health. DISM slash online slash cleanup hyphen image slash restore health. It's normal for the process to appear stuck at 20 or 40%. Do not interrupt it. After a few minutes, it will continue and complete successfully. Once all the scans are complete, DISM will connect to Windows Update if needed to download and replace any corrupted files. For more details, follow this guide. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.